this is Tom. Tom has a friend who was always inclined to be reckless. As they grew up, their mode of transport changed. But the careless driving of Tom's friend didn't improve. If anything, it seemed to get worse. always rushing here and there with as much speed and noise as possible. He'd forgotten he was now riding this and not that. They now both work at the same factory, which has a time clock and a works keeper. Tom leaves for work reasonably early. He likes to get a newspaper on the way and there's usually quite a bit of traffic about this time in the morning. And Tom's friend, well, he's just getting up. Tom takes a pride in his bike and in his riding. Watch him overtake this furniture van. First he checks it's okay to pull out. Gives a clear signal, sees the road is clear ahead, checks again behind and passes. Not too close, the van might pull out then checks that he can move back into his correct position without cutting in on the vehicle he's passed. Never overtake unless you know you can do so without danger to yourself or others. Now, you can't do this safely and correctly if you're always late and have this on your mind. But that's Tom's friend, always late and always in a hurry. Bye, Mom. Flying out of the house, he grabs his bike. Tom, meanwhile, is in good time and unhurried. Quite unlike his friend, who is in far too much of a hurry. He starts up and tears off up the road with hardly a glance to see what traffic is coming. To get there on time, he starts to take chances and so becomes a menace on the roads. The roads you travel on each day become very familiar. You think you know just what traffic to expect at every junction. This can be very dangerous. It's the unexpected that causes accidents. Tom, approaching a crossroads, always takes the same precautions. Approaching in the normal position, well to the left of the road, he checks oncoming traffic. Looks behind, then gives a clear signal that he intends to slow down or stop. He slows down, looks right, left and right again. Never rely on signals given by anyone except a policeman. Satisfied the road is clear, he accelerates and clears the crossing as quickly as possible. At this T-junction, Tom turns left, so he makes nearly the same manoeuvre as before. Starting well before the junction, he checks behind. Changes down and reduces speed, then clearly signals his intention. When he reaches the junction, he looks right, left and right again, giving way to the lady in a hurry. See how Tom kept well to the left of the road before and after making the turning. In the meantime, Tom's friend is trying to make up for lost time. As time gets shorter, he tries a shortcut he knows. But because of his speed and careless use of his brakes, it takes him much longer. To brake correctly, you should use both front and rear brakes simultaneously. Then, under most conditions, providing you're not traveling too fast, you pull up safely. If you use only the back brake, you could lose control. Like Tom's friend, you could nearly end up in the gutter, or worse. Remember, your brakes are for safety. But some people, it seems, will never learn. Tom is in good time to get his paper this morning. The nearest shop to the factory is the one just right at the next crossroads. It's a main road, a tricky crossing. Well before the junction, Tom checks the following traffic. The road is clear, so he signals, I intend to move out or turn right. 
He then changes down and reduces speed, keeping to a position slightly left of the center of the road. Looks the rear again and gives a clear signal I intend to turn right. Reduces speed, checks oncoming traffic and pedestrians. The road is now clear. Notice the wide curve he makes, not cutting across the corner. Then he takes up his new position well to the left of the road. Makes a clear signal he intends to slow down and stop. A good way to help you ride safely is to think of this slogan. Look, signal, maneuver. Watch Tom this time. Look, signal, maneuver. Simple, isn't it? Well before approaching the crossroads again, Tom starts his drill. Look, signal, maneuver. And again before turning. Look, signal, maneuver. He turns in a wide curve, making sure not to cut the corner, then takes up his new position well to the left. As Tom arrives at the factory, his friend is tearing along full of bravado. He'll just make it again. Watch out! Tom still has a friend. Well, just. But his friend hasn't a bike anymore. Just a summons for careless driving. After Tom passed his test, he made a new friend, who is quite an improvement. As Tom says, you should see her at a T-junction. There was no need to teach her to look, signal, maneuver. If you use your bike properly, it can give you a lot of pleasure, as well as being a quick and economical means of transport, as long as you remember road safety.